Today's topic is food allergy. Food allergy is an abnormal immune system reaction to food. Even exposure to very small amounts of allergy-causing food can trigger signs and symptoms associated with the condition. Food that causes allergic reactions are called allergens. Sometimes allergy symptoms are mild. Other times they are severe. All allergic symptoms should be taken seriously. Both mild and severe symptoms can lead to a serious allergic reaction, referred to as anaphylaxis. This reaction usually involves more than one part of the body, can impair breathing, cause a dramatic drop in blood pressure, and affect heart rate. To provide the right chance for improvement and prevent serious, potentially life-threatening complications, anaphylaxis must be treated right away. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimates that food allergies affect 4% to 6% of children and 4% of adults. There are two categories of food allergy, IgE-mediated or non-IgE-mediated. IgE-mediated is the most common type. In this type, the immunoglobin E, or IgE antibody, is released by your immune system to fight the threat. In the non-IgE-mediated type, IgE antibodies are not released, and other parts of the immune system are used to fight the perceived threat. Causes In food allergies, the immune system mistakenly identifies a specific protein in food as a pathogen, harmful, or as something that may cause disease. To respond to this, the immune system produces antibodies to attack this protein. When even the smallest amount of that food is eaten again, the antibodies are ready and signal the immune system to release a chemical known as histamine, as well as other chemicals, into the bloodstream. Histamine and these other chemicals cause the symptoms of food allergy. The most common food allergies, which account for about 90% of all food allergies, often referred to as the Big Eight, are milk, eggs, peanuts or groundnuts, tree nuts, including walnuts, almonds, Brazil nuts, cashews, seafood, shellfish, including shrimp, mussels, and crab, soy, wheat. Other foods containing allergenic proteins include fruits, vegetables, maize, and spices. Risk factors include family history, age, other allergies. Being allergic to one food may increase your chance of becoming allergic to another. Asthma. Symptoms. Hives. Dizziness. Abdominal pain. Tingling or itching in the mouth. Swelling of the lips, face, tongue, and throat or other parts of the body. Nasal congestion. Nausea. Diarrhea. Anaphylaxis. Rapid pulse. Tightening of the airway. Shock with a severe drop in blood pressure swollen throat, loss of consciousness. Diagnosis and treatment. Before making a diagnosis, the doctor will consider a number of factors, including your symptoms, a family history of allergies, a physical examination to identify or exclude other medical problems, a skin prick test to determine reaction to a particular food, a blood test to measure your immune system's response to particular foods, by measuring the allergy-related antibody, known as IgE. Elimination diet. You may be asked to eliminate suspected foods for four to six weeks to see if symptoms will clear up. Oral food challenge. During this test, you will be given a small but increasing amount of food suspected of causing your symptoms. You will then be watched for signs and symptoms. Treatment. The only and best way to avoid an allergic reaction is to avoid the foods that cause symptoms. For minor cases, over-the-counter or prescribed antihistamines may help. For severe cases, an emergency injection of epinephrine may be required. Epinephrine keeps blood pressure up by constricting blood vessels and easing the airways. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.